hello everyone and thank you for joining me today i am making an eight by eight card eight by eight uh, size cards are my favorite to make um, using the new floral finery collection from phil again and uh, for this card you're gonna need an eight by eight card blank i have used uh, silver miri um card and also premium pure white from sentimentally yours of course i have used uh, layered differently graceful squares uh, for the topper bit and for on the bottom layer of it i also have used um these beautiful charmed uh, flags and banners dies so again uh, mirror silver and pure white on the top for my sentiment uh, beautiful uh, whimsy foliage as you can see and the flowers i have used for um I am going to use for this card are these uh, beautiful lacy tips also um, mirror silver bottom layer and on the top uh, is pure white and the gems are ice diamond gems so let's have a look and let's assemble uh, my mirror silver I'm going to put my card long aside for now. For now, uh, Miri Silver uh, is going on the foam tape. I'm using two millimeter foam tape. Um, I mainly use two millimeter foam tape on all my cards, and you want to go around the perimeter. and not to forget because we do not want our card to sink in when it is assembled always put a bit in the middle like so and it's not gonna harm if it's such a large large size like eight by eight if you're gonna put an additional uh, couple pieces in the corners press it down and i'm going to take my pokey tool to take the backing of the foam tape like so nice and easy i need to empty my bin again and i keep saying it all the time because it keeps filling up so quickly uh, while i was prepping all these cards Whew, i've lost the count how many times um i actually emptied <laughs> the bin and uh, now you want your silver mirror on top of your 8x8 card blank and you want you want it to be even which means you want and it's not you want all sides the same amount the same gap all sides and i i will get there <laughs> okay i got it and now 
but uh, if you want to clean your mirror card then you can uh, take a chamois and clean it and I did get this one um, it's um, just a polish a cheap polish chamois I did get it from range uh, the range here in UK it cleans it up nicely however you only really want to clean uh, the outside bit because our next layer is gonna go on the top and you're not gonna see it so next white layer is going on top of uh, silver mirror and I am going to glue it using sentimentally yours premium PVA glue I uh, love this glue for card making because it does have wiggle time when you glue anything to mirror card you have to make sure that your glue is not oozing out you can clean it carefully but you don't really uh, want to do that if you can avoid cleaning mirror card from glue liquid glue then you want to do that just be super careful I'm turning it upside down and pressing it down so this layer is done uh, next layer I have got this beautiful inverted corner squares I'm going to put this one on the foam tape as well and give it a little bit more dimension always looks nice when you've got um, some dimension on your card so the same thing around the perimeter all four sides and one bit in the middle like so uh, links are gonna be in the description below as always if you are interested uh, you can find sentimentally yours products on honeypot crafts co uk or julia Watts crafts co uk i will put it in the description below uh, make sure you place this one in the middle um, if you need and uh, then use a ruler for that and this looks good to have something in here okay it's gone uh, now this beautiful topper glue uh, white layer is going on top of miri silver card and just put a good amount of glue not too much I do not need too much of a glue and put it down oh my god look how beautiful it is uh, so these are layered differently 
graceful squares. Now this is going, yes you guessed, on more foam tape. And my scissors got super sticky. I am going to have to clean them at some point. So foam tape and take your backing off again. And there are a few ways how you can position uh, this topper. You can position it this way. Uh, you can position it this way. It looks uh, beautiful either way, but I'm going to put it like so. Make sure it's all nice and straight. And it is. I'm going to put, it looks nice already. Um, I'm going to put this aside and we are going to focus on our sentiment. Uh, for my sentiment, on this card, I am going to use. sending congratulations your way uh, these are just saying sentiments occasional ones so i'm using sending congratulations your way going to stamp it on our white layer and i'm going to use versifying claire nocturne It does sit tight, which is good. And ink your sentiment. Take the top layer. Position it. Make sure it is straight. And stamp it. Hold off a few seconds and it's done. Have a look at this beautiful font. Well, it's two fonts really. I absolutely love it. Sending congratulations your way. I'm going to clean my stamp. Okay. I'm going to put it away after the video. I can close my ink pot, put the lid on. And now uh, my white top layer is going on this beautiful, uh, charmed silver mirror. like so love it love it love it looks really nice i let it sit and dry for a minute or so uh, now we are coming back to our uh, card base and I have to really squeeze this glue gel because I think it dried on the bottom, but I'm still going to be using it. Uh, so we've got our foliage. Some of our foliage and, oh, I was going to say I lost one. No, I didn't. And look how beautiful these flowers are. Oh my God they look amazing 
I'm going to position flowers first. So I normally start uh, with the largest one. It is going to sit right on the frame. And I'm going from there. Don't really want to cover this beautiful um, frame, but I'm gonna have to cover some of it, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh my god, I love these flowers so so much. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking about sentiment going somewhere around here. That means I can put some more flowers. Okay, um, let me just put the sentiment down first. I'm just, you can always use foam tape again to raise it up. I'm just going to use glue. So my sentiment is going down here. Why is it going down here and not in the middle somewhere? Because I want this beautiful bits to be uh, visible. I'm just making sure that it is all straight, I said. <laughs> And knocked it over. Uh, let me have a quick look see off the camera. Uh, yep. Okay. Do not touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it anymore. Um, I have this big one. This one, which I am really tempting, tempted to put over here. Okay. It really needs to sit just here. I do like that. Um, now I've got... Uh, this large one, which I'm gonna put this way, this way, this way. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that one. Uh, this one is going in the corner. over here and I said I don't want to cover this beautiful frame but maybe it won't be covered too much after all I don't know I'm just gonna have to place these flowers Pop it on top of this one and this one. If I can just put it underneath, I'm gonna have to try and see what happens because I can always move them. I'll put this one underneath. Actually, this one is gonna go underneath as well. And the large one is going to sit on top. Just have a look at Yeah, glue gel is touching the 
cardstock underneath. Um, this one. I've got this one. Now I have to decide that I'm going to want something here. I think this uh, rounded oh, glue gel uh, with rounded petals going right here, like so. Um, I am going to put foliage on a little bit of glue gel. You can use normal glue and stick it under the flower. Um, this one is going to go on the bottom. Over here, now we want I might snip. Uh, where are my small scissors? Mm. Shall I or shall I not? Yes, I will snip these two bottom ones on both and this one is gonna face this way so glue gel again under my flower and then I really want this one going from this side. So again, uh, glue gel, and I am going to stick it uh, right under, like so. And we've got, I'm not going to use these, um, but we've got these little ones left. And I can feel that these ones are on the glue gel that are under the flowers. Let me have a look. We've got last two flowers left. And these are green. It's either this little one is going on here, which I think is going to look better than the big one I will put this flower in between these ones like so and this little one is uh, going on the tip of this banner maybe a little bit in like so let me just have a look and that it is straight and it needs to go a little bit up Okay, 
Um, so obviously I have used Ice Diamond Gymporium Gems. I am going to uh, pick four large ones. And uh, yes, you have guessed. These four are going in the corners of these inverted bits. That one is going to be only partially visible. But, nevertheless, it is going to be visible. And last one. Like so, quick look. Uh, looks amazing. Just going to give you a quick close-up. Um, silver Miri card. And these beautiful, beautiful flowers. And look at this beautiful sentiment. And this is another card done. So stay tuned for more. And thank you so very much for watching. Until next time. Bye.